Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for UFC fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and today I'll be getting you ready for the upcoming UFC fight. Here at FightingStats.com, we have exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else. We can tell you how often a fighter throws that left hook or that right jab in southpaw, how often they move backwards, or how often they throw kicks. We have all of that information, but that is not all. In this series, I'll be watching tape and I'll give you my real-time analysis on how the fight's gonna go. I'm gonna watch for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies to give you my prediction on how I think the fight is gonna go and ultimately, who's gonna win. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we are breaking down the UFC 306 main event between Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, and Marab Devalishvili. Now, this matchup is going to be a lot different than anything that we've seen from Sean O'Malley. Marab Devalishvili is going to be a high-level grappler, uh, attempts multiple takedowns in multiple rounds. So, uh, first thing I want to do here is go back to the Sean O'Malley tape, uh, find out what his grappling defense looks like, his takedown defense, and what he looks like off of his back. Now, not a lot of sample size of Sean O'Malley off of his back. He has only seen, and I pull up our uh, Fighting Stats grappling report here, he's seen 28 takedown attempts in his UFC career, uh, only allowed 11 of them to be successful. He has been controlled a total of 850 seconds of control time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the tape. I'm going to look at every time he was taken down, how he reacts to those, how he gets up, things like that. So let's get started. We're going to go all the way back to his uh, Contender Series debut here. Um, we're going to start with Alfred Akasinyakan. Uh, he got taken down once here. Let's get this fight started. All right, so we start this tape study session here with Sean O'Malley in his Dana White Contender Series debut. He is 22 years old here this against Alfred Kashakian. Uh, Sean O'Malley going to be the taller fighter, uh, seven years younger as well. Uh, let's see this takedown attempt here. It's going to be in round one here. Uh, so we're going to kick it off here, four minutes, 30 seconds into round number one. Sean O'Malley is going to be in the green trunks here. Goes for a spinning back fist, got caught with the right hand there. Here the grappling, uh, Kashakian was the overhook there. Sean O'Malley has that double underhooks, gets taken down here. Let's go back to this here. There's the takedown attempt. So spinning back fist here for Sean O'Malley misses, right? Counters here from Kashakian with the right hand, a left hand that lands. Now they engage in the clint, Kashakian has the overhook with the right arm there, uh, arm around the neck. Goes for a head and arm throw here, right? Sean O'Malley recognizes it, defends. Uh, now he has, d uh, Sean O'Malley is defending here with double unders. Kashakian just a little bit stronger here. Grabs the, um, looks like a single leg. Actually able to drop Sean O'Malley down to the ground. Uh, uh, now we got Sean O'Malley off of his back here. So very busy right away off of his back, throwing up up kicks. Um, trying to defend some strikes. Kashakian holding onto the leg. Some here, some big shots here from Kashakian on top. Pushes away, uses holding the fence a little bit there. Some good. Oh, well, here's a triangle attempt from O'Malley on the bottom. Kashakian recognizes, get, gets his head out there. Some big more ground and pound here. So more scrambles, really using those legs to push off there. Pushes on the hips, tried to, almost tried to get up there, couldn't get it. Kashakian again, again pushing on those hips. Gives him a roll there, and that was a mistake here, I think, from Kashakian here. Here he gives the position here for Sean O'Malley. He has Sean O'Malley on his back. He gives the O'Malley the option to roll back to his feet. Now he goes back uh, on uh, all turtle here. Now O'Malley can start attacking a leg himself. Kashakian has to defend the head, push it down, swing back to the back. He does not. He lets O'Malley up, and now they are back up. So he got a little bit of a glimpse of Sean O'Malley off of his back there, a little bit uh, wild there. So uh, let's move on to the uh, next fight of Sean O'Malley. All right, now the next fight that uh, Sean O'Malley gets taken down here is in March 2018 against Andre Sukumtat. We're going to get this fight started. It's already into the second round. Sean O'Malley has won the first round there. Uh, actually beat up a Sukumtat pretty bad here. So O'Malley's still in the green trunk, Sukumtat uh, in the black trunks here. O'Malley's picking him apart here at range, using his weapons as long-range weapons. Right, There's another jab from O'Malley here. Sukumtat goes inside low kick. 
He points at the leg, saying that he checked that uh, leg kick there. Le nice left hand from O'Malley, and lands another right hand here. So at this point, Sukumtat's getting light up on the feet. He's going to have to change it up, trying to force a brawl here. Ducks under, grabs a single leg. O'Malley tries to grab the back here. So let's go back here. Here it is here. He's backing up, backing up. Here he pops him with the right hand. Sukumtat has enough of it. He tries to grab a hold of the single leg there, right? O'Malley uses, tries to step over with the right leg, tries to take the back, but it's this left wizard here from Sukumtat that prevents the takedown here. So you see O'Malley trying to just force his way. Uh, he can reverse this takedown attempt and put Sukumtat on his back. Unfortunately, Sukumtat has his knee on the ground to post, uh, and he has his right arm against this right leg. So as he pulls this right leg, he can get that momentum back. He steps up stands up and then it's O'Malley on in his back here so right away O'Malley off of his back he's controlling this right arm here of Sukumtat you can see him already with this left leg trying to set up a triangle on this side so keep an eye on this here trying to get that leg underneath that right arm there it is there right away into a triangle so that's two fights back to back where O'Malley's off his back right away setting up a triangle we saw that in that last fight there this triangle looks pretty tight actually a lot of space actually on the side there. He's trying to get the angle a little bit better. Usually you want that left leg along the back neck of Sukumtat. You can see it going down the back here. So he has to use the space. He has to cross it a little bit more. It's getting a little bit there. Sometimes you'll see him reaching for the leg and trying to uh, close the position a little bit. Two minutes and 42 seconds. A lot of time for O'Malley to work on this triangle. Sukumtat defending. But you can see a lot of space there. He's still trying to get this arm back through. O'Malley pretty busy off of his back here as well. He has the triangle uh, sort of locked in, so he's throwing a lot of elbows off of his back here. Sukumtat just covering up, really not doing anything to defend this or really to get out. The longer he stays here, it's going to give O'Malley more of a chance. Look, there, right, right there. So as soon as, let's go back here. So Sukumtat right now, his legs are bent, his knees are bent, right? And he can't really get the angle on the triangle. As soon as Sukumtat sort of extends that knee, watch this there. As soon as he gives him a little bit of space, O'Malley's reaching with this left arm there, trying to change the angle so that he can get more of a side hook there. Oh, let's go of the arm there. Now he's looking for an arm bar. Sukumtat's out with the arm bar. Now it's Sukumtat in side control. Let's see O'Malley how he deals with it here in side control. Sukumtat attacking, he'll knee to the body there. O'Malley a little bit uh, elbows in here, trying to create some space. Looks like he's trying to shrimp out. Regains half guard here from O'Malley on bottom. A minute 40 on top here for Sukumtat to work. Let's see. Sukumtat needs to do something with this uh, takedown. He did get lit up in round number one and the beginning first half of round number two. Uh, so you should see him try to look for some damage. But when you do look for some damage, you give your uh, opponent a little bit space to get back up. So Sukumtat trying to keep the space between them a little bit closer, trying to keep O'Malley off of his back here. So uh, still remember, he he's looking for a butterfly guard, trying to elevate a little bit. Goes back to Butterfly, head against the fence. Now he should be able to wall walk. Oh, but he's looking for a front choke here. Looks for a ninja choke. Uh, Sukumtat has to reverse, jump over to the side. And this choke's pretty close too. Looks for a guillotine, but he uses it to get up and escape. Kicks to the body. Another kick to the body. Sukumtat complaining. All right, so I think that is it for this round here. Oh, O'Malley goes back to attack, goes on to side control. Let's just see some O'Malley top time here. Not afraid of uh, going to the ground on top either here, so worth noting there. Steps over into half three-quarter mount, uh, jumps on the neck. So <laughs> in the in the two, three minutes of tape that we've watched here, we've seen Sean O'Malley attempt two or three submissions, pretty close too. Uh, so let's go into the third round. This f this fight's so funny, man, because uh, you'll see here. Let me show you. So O'Malley's probably up two rounds coming into this uh, this third round here. Now uh, Sukumtat's uh, forcing the grappling here. Go, uh, let me let back this up a little bit here. Right away pressure. He knows he's down two rounds. He has to force it. So comes forward, jab to the body. Ducks under for a single leg, doesn't get it. Now he's clinching up against the fence. Sukumtat going to try to bring him back to his left side. 
bring him down. Good defense there from O'Malley using that uh, right wizard there. He's trying to bring him back. Good balance there from O'Malley. Uh, doesn't get it, but Sukumtat on in the back. He's going to have to try to drag him down. Uh, Sean O'Malley, uh, defense. Right hand here. I feel like I did have Sean O'Malley inside the distance in this fight. This one was a while ago, uh, but bringing back flashbacks, watch rewatching this now. O'Malley outstriking him 46 to 15, so 2 to 1, 3 to 1 in uh, significant strikes there. Uh, let's fast forward this here. Here, okay. So Sukumta here, inside low kick. Oh, his legs all messed up here. Okay, so uh, this is worth noting here. So at this point, uh, again, O'Malley's up two rounds. Uh, Sukumta throws this kick, this inside kick here. O'Malley's fine here. Kick to the body. Watch this kick here from Sukumta. Goes high kick. Oh, I think he hurt his foot there on with the head kick. Let me go back here. It was this head kick here. Kicks to the body. O'Malley throws a jab. O'Malley throws this right high kick here. Boop. Hits him at the top of the head. I think he breaks his foot here at this point. You can see him watching. Now he can't put any weight on the foot. This right foot here. Look, he's stumbling. He's Yeah, he can't put any weight on that right foot. Sukumtak goes with the leg kick. Now he goes in for a takedown. He can easily get that takedown now uh, because the right leg is damaged. So what's hilarious is that, again, Sukumtak's down two rounds at this point. Sean O'Malley cannot stand on his right foot. He cannot put any weight on his right foot. Sukumtak goes for the takedown and gets on top. All Sukumtak has to do is stand back, let O'Malley stand. The referee sees that he can't even put weight on it. He calls the fight off. But Sukumtak attached to the ground here. We can see O'Malley here trying to fight the position. Again, O'Malley is not in any rush to get back to his feet, so it's worth noting. I want to set that context because it's 2 minutes, 40 seconds left. O'Malley's up two rounds. All he has to do is really survive to win this fight. He can't get back to his feet because that right foot is probably broken. You can see it's sort of flailing around there. So... Now Sukumtat moves over to half half side control here. I just want to see what he does and how O'Malley reacts, how he defends. Sukumtat working on the neck there of Sean O'Malley. Trying to step over maybe for a crucifix here from uh, Sukumtat. Right elbow. Trying to work on a guillotine. Two minutes left in this one. Sean O'Malley back up to his feet. One minute, two, two minutes left here. Dig to the body there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Sean O'Malley on one foot. On one foot. What does he do? He goes for a double leg takedown. Sean O'Malley literally, literally cannot stand on this foot. He kicks him there. He sees, he sees the leg. He, he literally sees the leg. Goes for a takedown, grabs a double leg takedown, gets him back down. Look at O'Malley grimacing on the ground. His foot is messed up. The referee almost comes in to stop it. <laughs> All Sukumtan has to do is stand up. All right, so O'Malley looking at the neck. Sukumtan jumps over to side control, so they let's go of that guillotine. Sukumtan in side control now. Sean O'Malley regains half guard from side control. Good job there from O'Malley on the bottom. He's O'Malley's still trying to get up. Spinning back elbow there. Drops down again for another double leg. Look, almost had him in a, a crucifix O'Malley from the bottom. O'Malley definitely knows what he's doing on the bottom. He just hasn't shown it a lot yet. His corners are like yelling at him, stand, let him stand up. But Sukumtak continues here. Sean O'Malley controlling the wrist. Uh, Sukumtak looking for a guillotine here. Uh, just going to fast for the last 30 seconds of this fight. Just wanted to see how it ends. Again, Sukum uh, O'Malley was able to get up twice, right? Three times there in the third round with one foot. That was worth noting as well. Uh, Sukumta really not able to do much here on top. A couple of shots here from Sukumta. Jomali here. And again, he knows he's up two runs. All he has to really do is survive. So he's okay with this position. Goes to decision. Uh, Sean O'Malley ends up winning a decision. Look, look. His foot. He's grimacing. He's in so much pain. His foot's broken. Doctor can't even touch it. 
Uh, when anybody asks me about the, the worst fight IQ, I always go back to this fight because Sukum not only had to do a stand-up to win this fight. Uh, but again, uh, Sean O'Malley got taken down a couple of times in that uh, third round there. But again, he's a one-legged fighter, so I'm going to throw those takedowns out. When he is on the ground, it's worth giving him credit, though, for getting up a couple of times with one foot or one leg uh, and limiting the damage. Again, he goes to the submission quite a bit there, so uh, we're going to see if that continues uh, on to the next fight. All right, so after the Sukum Tot fight, uh, he needs some time to repair his foot. He actually takes two years off here. So uh, the next time we see Sean O'Malley is in 2020, March 2020, against Jose Quinones. Uh, wins that fight by head kick in round number one. Uh, fight Eddie Wineland, uh, won by round one uh, knockout there. And then fought uh, Cheeto Vera, where that foot was giving him problems. Uh, ended up getting knocked out there in round uh, number one as well. So the next time we see him get taken down here is against Thomas Almeida, um, Again, Sean O'Malley going to have, a, obviously, a big uh, height and reach advantage. Uh, let's get this fight started. This takedown happens in round number one. So we're going to fast forward this uh, here uh, to the end of round number one here. So worth noting here, again, Sean O'Malley working him. Uh, Amina here picking him apart at range. I think there's a part where... Um, Let's see here. Okay, let's back this up here. Sean O'Malley goes uh, inside kick. Uh, Almeida goes inside kick. Sean O'Malley goes left high kick. Wobbles Almeida. Follows up with a big left hand. Drops Almeida. Tries to walk off. The referee does not stop it. Uh, lets the fight keep going. So um, if he followed up, perhaps he could have finished there, but uh, not a problem there. Uh, O'Malley chasing him down here. So nice step back counter left there from O'Malley. So again, worth noting, Almeida come pretty rocked here. Um, so O'Malley here, let's back this up here. Uh, Mali comes forward, right? Um, there's that left hand there. As Almeida's rocked, he's trying to force him in. He can see O'Malley loading up on this right hand. He's going to try to quickly level change, grab that single leg, that left knee there of O'Malley. O'Malley immediately sprawls, uh, gets out of there. And Almeida back to the uh, uh, center. Uh, Almeida, sorry, O'Malley throws a, a knee up the middle. Uh, let's go up here. So let's watch this here. So O'Malley still hasn't pressed up against the fence. 26 to 4 uh, significant strikes here in round number one. Sp there, there it is. So let me back this up here. So O'Malley goes here, uh, has uh, uh, Almeida backed up against the fence. He's going to try a spinning wheel kick here. As far as a wheel spinning wheel kick, Almeida steps forward to block, uh, to get out of range of the kick. Uh, steps forward into the kick, drops O'Malley. Uh, actually, I think gets credited with his takedown. O'Malley fouls on his back. Immediately pushes off, gets right back up. So that's the takedown they credited O'Malley with or, or Almeida with. Um, no other takedown in this round here. Okay, so after that Thomas Almeida fight, he then fights Chris Moutinho on short notice, beats him there in the third round. Uh, that was in July of 2021. Uh, Rodin Paiva, uh, he beats in 20, uh, December 2021, no takedowns. Uh, and then uh, Pedro Munoz, no takedowns as well. So the next time we see him get taken down is against Piotr Jan. We did break this fight down, but we're going to go back to it here. Uh, he gets taken down six times, so we're going to watch a lot of this fight here. Uh, again, uh, this is the, the really the only time that he's gotten taken down multiple times times in a single fight really curious to see how he reacts here so uh, let's get this fight started here P uh, again Sean O'Malley going to be in the green trunks Purian is going to be in the red trunks here uh, Purian again right away pressing forward I'm just going to fast forward here to see if I can get those takedowns here Again, this fight going to a split decision, so very close fight. And Purion, uh, one of the best strikers in the division as well, so just goes to show you the level of striking here for Sean O'Malley. Uh, and he has to worry about the striking and the threat of the takedown. So Piriyan boxes his way in. Again, he's ranked number one in this uh, this fight. Mali coming in as the number 11th ranked bantamweight here. Uh, let's see this entry here. So uh, Piriyan throws in, throws a right hook, tries to drive. Oh, look at that. Nice transition here. Let's back this up here. Let me talk it through. So uh, goes to the left hook, grabs a single leg up against the fence, tries to spin him. Good balance there from Mali. Uses it to grab the back. So now it's Piotr Jan on the back, but he's still staying standing here. Trying to drag O'Malley down. Good balance there from O'Malley. Usually the taller fighter, longer legs, easy, a little bit easier to take down. But good de takedown defense here from O'Malley. Again, um, uh, Piotr Jan looked for an outside trip there. I don't know if you caught that. Watch this left leg of Piotr Jan. He tries to kick that leg out there. O'Malley, good balance. Uh, stay standing. Two on one on the wrist uh, for Purian. Tries to turn into him, breaks off. So good defense there from Sean O'Malley. 
inside kick there from Jan. Let's see if we fast forward if he actually does get taken down here. Okay, watch this. Okay, so Peter Jan pressuring up against the fence. Left hook, left hook, left hook. Uh, drops down for a level change. Looking for a, a double leg here against the fence. Got his hands cr grasped. Let's back that up here, right? So he's trying to get his hands uh, locked together. Peter Jan locks his hands together. Goes, picks him up. Drops uh, <coughs> O'Malley. Now it's O'Malley up against the fence, pushing on the head right away. Let's see what Piotr Jan can do with this. Pulls the legs out from under him. Good job there from Jan. Uh, O'Malley right away into full guard here, head up on the fence. All right, so here we get to see some uh, actual O'Malley off of his back. Right away looks for an arm bar. Doesn't get it. Resets. A lot of, ta you know what, a lot of submission attempts off of his back here from O'Malley. Uh, anytime we've seen him off of his back there. Pushing on the hips again, right? Trying to create some space, trying to get that arm up and uses it to stand back up. So let, let's look at his get up here. So from here, full guard, again, he he, he likes the uh, feet on the hips. We saw, saw that a lot, a butterfly guard here, right? Trying to create space, not letting um, Pierre Yan pass guard. Uses this right arm to create more space, right? And he's going to try to get this left leg back so that he can uh, sneak it out the back door and get back up there. He got that left leg up. Now he's back up to his feet. So one takedown there from Jan. And not much to do with it there. And then right back up to standing. Um, anything else here? No. Quickly there at the end of the round. Nine seconds left. It's O'Malley shooting for a takedown. Pure Jan sprawls. And O'Malley gets the back but then releases there. So... Uh, O'Malley mixing up the grappling there as well. All right, let's uh, f here. Let's see some replays just for those that haven't seen this fight here. O'Malley lands a right hand there. Here's that takedown attempt again. Big double leg up against the fence, and Pierre Jan's pretty strong, pretty good grappler as well. Uh, drops uh, O'Malley down to the ground here. So let's fast forward here. Let's get into round number two. Good strikes there, nice kicks there from Jan. Again, we've seen most of this right over. Let's see here. O'Malley clips him with a clean left hand there. Nice right hand over the top there as well. Jan in trouble here. He's a little bit rocked. He's going to shoot for a takedown. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Left hook misses there from O'Malley. So, he, oh, lands a big left hand of his own there from Jan. Takes the back again, standing. Oh, nice drop down there from Jan. That's high level here. So, okay, so let's back this up here. Again, Jan's pretty rocked here at this point. Jan throws his own left hand, drops O'Malley here. Not counted as a drop because he didn't go down to the ground. Spins under, trips him down, gets uh, O'Malley down to the ground, jumps on his back here. O'Malley's going to, uh, now it's Jan in side control right away. He didn't spend m really any time there in side control. O'Malley right back to full guard. Again, that foot on the hip there. Uh, uh, Jan recognizes it, gets the f uh, the hip out of there. And now it's O'Malley in full guard here. So four minutes on the clock here. O'Malley uh, again looking for an arm bar or triangle here from the bottom, really controlling the posture and the hands. Again, busy with the legs there. Looking for almost an omoplata. Has that shoulder lock, gets that arm out there from Jan, back to full guard. Jan trying to posture up here a little bit. Close guard here from O'Malley on bottom. Again, feet back to the hips. Oh, watch that. Okay, so here, right there. So as soon as Jan postures up, O'Malley bending that leg. You can't see it here, but he has that left leg on that right hip of Jan. He uses it to spring forward. He's trying to cra uh, grab the arm, trying to set up an arm bar here. Um, uh, Jan's going to be a little bit too strong. He's going to get that right arm out of there. Tries to fold. O'Malley uses it to stand back up. Jan right back down. I don't know if they counted that as another takedown because he briefly got up. Uh, Jan trying to step back over. Jan trying to grab the back. O'Malley back up to his feet. Pretty good gr defensive grappling, though, from Sean O'Malley. You know, uh, Jan's a high-level uh, grappler as well. Really good striking, but his wrestling is, is high-level there. Uh, and, again, O'Malley able to defend here. So, O'Malley using a wizard here to defend. Uh, or, sorry, the un underhook there. Um, looks like Jan's trying to get him right back down to the ground, up against the fence. Pummels here, uh, again, for Sean O'Malley, 50-50 position. Nice knee up the middle there from Jan. Doesn't get it, so has to break off. Nice right hand there, and a whiff on the return. Let's back this up. Oh, 
nice trip here. So this is a, the second or third takedown of the round here from Yan. Yan jumps in. I call this the Leodo trip. He does this a lot where he steps in uh, against orthodox, orthodox or southpaw, southpaw. You can see this right leg of Yan tripping him and this right leg pushing uh, O'Malley back to the other side. So he can get this trip, not really expecting it. O'Malley right back to his uh, back. And Yan follows up, but O'Malley able to stand right back up, pop up uh, pretty quickly there as well. <laughs> Sean O'Malley tries the exact same trip here. Watch this. He tries to return. Same thing. Steps forward, puts the leg behind uh, the right leg of Purity Yan. He just doesn't have this uh, the right arm on the front of the face to push him there. Doesn't get the trip there. So uh, Sean O'Malley looking at, uh, at the clock there as well. All right, fast forward here to the next takedown attempt. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, not much else here. But again, remember that Jan's the one looking for a takedown. Mali has to be careful of the takedown and the striking, right? Um, here's a takedown attempt here up against the fence. Mali with a guillotine attack to defend the takedown. A leg spread out. You're going to have to switch to single leg here. Hands clasped behind the butt. Does he get it again? Yes, he does. But right away, he gets the takedown. Right away, posting here from Sean O'Malley. You can see him trying to control that uh, left wrist there of Apurion. They credit him with four takedowns so far. Uh, O'Malley back right back to full guard. Knee shield to try to create some space there from O'Malley. 30 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if he gets back up. Big, some big breaths here from bottom. This is a high level pace, a lot of grappling in this, pushes off there from O'Malley. Some big breaths again still here from O'Malley. O'Malley just going to probably wait out the round here. Again, you're at this point, there's only 10 seconds left. Why waste the energy to try to get back up there? Uh, just controlling uh, there. All right, so four takedowns so far there from Piotr Jan. Uh, looked like Sean O'Malley was winning some of the stand-up there, but Jan caught him with the left hand there, so this was definitely a Jan round. Yeah, those takedowns are hard to replicate. Not many people, and he got the trip there too as well. And the double legs up against the fence, very hard to get. So um, I'm more impressed with the takedown defense of Sean O'Malley than anything so far. Round number three here. Let's see if anything changes. Again, this is a high-level pace. A lot of grappling in this fight. Uh, Sean O'Malley has never been taken down this many times in one fight. Uh, it is a three-round fight, but it looks like Sean O'Malley's cardio is okay here. Popping the jab. Let me see if I can fast-forward uh, here. Here, Piotr Jan step kicks, shoots in for a double, a single leg, grabs a single leg. Good balance there from Sean O'Malley, able to get that leg out. Again, nice balance there from Sean O'Malley defending that when uh, Jan comes in. Let's see if I can get another one. Uh, left foot here, three and a half left in the fight. Here is again sh uh, shoots in O'Malley. One is his looks like his one of his uh, his takedown defense here. So um, Jan shooting in for a single leg, double leg here. Um, Jan, O'Malley's going to have double underhooks here, right? And right away attacks the neck. We did see that Ninja Toad Pure, Pure Jan recognizes. It. Look how high this leg is going up above his head. Good takedown defense. So very hard to finish a single leg up against Sean O'Malley, and the double legs had to be really uh, double leg behind the back there. So uh, good takedown defense here for Sean O'Malley. Now has Pure Jan fighting backwards. Nice outside low kick there from uh, Jan. Another shot in from a distance here. Let me see this one. Uh, O'Malley goes left high kick, blocked. There's that same trip. It's that same uh, outside trip there, right? Outside trip with the right leg comes forward. It makes the double leg a little bit easier. Nice sprawl. Uh, let's see this one again in slow motion here. So kicks here. O'Malley comes, uh, sorry, Piotr Jan comes over. The right leg goes behind the left leg of Sean O'Malley. Looks like he should be getting this trip, but um, look at the sprawl here from O'Malley. R immediately grabs those legs and hips back under, able to sprawl, get back to his knees. 
Jan trying to step over. O'Malley right back up to his feet again. Jan working on a single leg here, doesn't get it, legs spread out. So again, look how hard it is to finish these single legs on Sean O'Malley. He's going to be the taller fighter. He has a lot good balance. He has good dexterity that he can lift that leg up, up against his head. As he's getting his leg lifted up, Sean O'Malley is making him pay with some elbows up against the side of the head. Again, looking for this neck as a takedown defense there, right? O'Malley looks like, oh, oh yeah. Let's go back to this. So here, when, it, when Jan drops down, he lets go of the uh, the takedown. He looks for the neck here. Looks like Jan has his hands clasped together here behind the butt. Uh, O'Malley knows he's probably going to go for a ride here. So I think he uh, actually attempts to drop down. Doesn't get it. So now it's Jan back on top. Two minutes left in this fight. Let's see what he can do here. Big deep breaths from O'Malley on bottom. O'Malley looking for a Kimura on that uh, left side there already. Or if he doesn't finish it, trying to get back to his knees. So he gets his knees, uses it to stand back up. As soon as he gets to his knees, he's going to stand back up. And that's what it is. So only 20 seconds of control, uh, ground control there from Gyodor Jan. More clinching here. Let's see if there's any last takedown. I think that was two or three. Some big shots here. Oh, let's back here. Oh, nice left hand there from Jan. Again, grabs a single leg. Right back up. O'Malley very hard to control on the bottom. Uh, one last takedown here. Let's see. Pure Jan switches to Southpaw. Southpaw, Southpaw sets it up. That same trip. That same trip. Watch this here. O'Malley comes forward. He tries his own trip, but you know, uh, Jan ducks under. Again, that left leg there, he, there's nowhere to go. Uh, the right arm is going to push O'Malley backwards that way. Gets the takedown there. 16 seconds. O'Malley already looking for a triangle. Looking for a triangle. Looking for an arm bar. And that is it for the fight. All right. Uh, Sean O'Malley actually, uh, not to spoil it, but he does win a split decision here. That it was a very close fight. Uh, go back and watch. I, I watched that fight and, and, and break it, broke it down there. But specifically this one, this is all the sample size that we're really going to get for Sean O'Malley in terms of takedown defense, what he looks like off of his back. He does fight Aljamain Sterling uh, after this fight. And um, I was really curious to see what he would look like off of his back. Aljamain Sterling probably being the best uh, BJJ guy that Sean O'Malley has faced. But that fight never actually getting down to the ground. Uh, O'Malley with that step back counter right hand. Finishing uh, Aljamain Sterling there in the second round. So that would have given us a little bit more information. But uh, we have enough here in terms of what Sean O'Malley looks like off of his back. He did get taken down uh, multiple times in this fight. But again, nothing really came of it. Let's pull up the stats just one last time. Um, so yeah, over his UFC career, we've seen him get, he's been taken down 11 times uh, so far there uh, for Sean O'Malley. Um, nothing really, it was more Sean O'Malley looking for submission attempts. Let's go to his uh, offensive grappling here. We can see... Submission attempts got credited for three submission attempts against Andre Sukumtat, but there was that one in Contender Series. He was setting them up against Piotr Jan, didn't get credited with anything there. Uh, but yeah, pretty uh, interesting stuff there from Sean O'Malley. We're going to go over to the Marab Duvalishvili side next. Uh, you'll catch that in the next video. We're going to see what his takedowns look like, what his ground control time looks like, uh, things like that, and then we'll get your final play. You won't want to miss it. My name is Art C. Uh, this is Fighting Sets. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for $29,000 at UFC 297. That is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats, not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.